Okay, so in this video clip, uh, we continue with our estimation. We had estimated uh, a logit model, and now we're using a probit model, uh, and our dependent variable is the mortgage either denied or accepted deny uh, yes or deny no. Um, and then we output though these parameters uh, values for probit and we use uh, or and you can see uh, the output we have in terms of the coefficients and down below we do it in Python again taking that simple relationship and I just output for convenience here uh, the parameter values and we can make the direct comparison then with R so we can see the 2.194 for the intercept is the same and then for the uh, debt to income ratio it's it's also the same so both in pro both in python and r here in the google collab we can run the probit estimation uh last thing uh but quite interesting then is to take the to try replicate uh, the code we have here but for probit so we take this r code uh and set it up and for the probit model so it is um we have um we're predicting with um uh, the logit model uh deny logit and we should have deny probit to make the prediction so here we have deny probit okay so the model is saved here in this space and we want to set up uh, a probit model where we generate uh, these outcomes here. Okay, so let's just copy, copy, selection. Uh, we go below here, we'll paste in, uh, we make the necessary changes, uh, control V to paste, control V, and uh, we're gonna plot all uh, and we want to plot the direct, the debt to income ratio uh, as the, the independent variable and uh, predict deny, which is a zero or one. And again, uh, so the changes will have to start here. It's not a logit this time. We want to do probit. Model of probability denial given debt to income ratio. So all that's fine. And this is fine again, mortgage approved, mortgage denied. Uh, and we'll have to say here, it is a probit, P-R-O-B-I-T. So this is the fitted values. And very importantly, it's not deny logit, it's deny probit. So we have to take this uh, deny probit model, copy, copy selection and replace for the prediction, uh, we've got to replace the model with deny probit. So control V, and we've made that change. DIR is on the X axis, type response. And we have to put in here Y probit. Y probit, so copy, selection, and put in here Y probit, control V, uh, looks fine, true, uh, we should say probit for the legend, this is just a legend, so just the name, and let's run this code and observe what the output is, and we have a probit model, and we've set up a model fit for probit model of the probability of denial given debt to income ratio. Uh, the source for this uh, code is Introduction to um, Econometrics uh, using R. Um, I have the hyperlink here posted somewhere, so it's worth um, just drawing attention to it. Um, it's an excellent um, text for uh, training. Um,
see if we can find that. It's this one here. Econometrics with R uh, and it's chapter 11 uh, of that textbook. It's not the Stock and Watson, it's the Econometrics with R. Okay, so that's worth uh, finding, going to chapter 11. And then our output here at the end is this fit for the probit model. And it's a, it's a nice demonstration of how the probit model also performs in a similar fashion to the logit model where we are bounded by a zero and one, right? For our um, deny yes, that's where the mortgage is denied, deny no, that's where the mortgage is approved. Okay. Okay, so I'll stop there. And you'll find the link uh, below the video, right? So the link back to code and Google Colab will be found below this video.